Find all angles in the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi that satisfy the given equation. In part a, we'll solve 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals 0 algebraically. Let's review factoring by decomposition by factoring 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Note that there is more than one way to factor trinomials, and often guess and check is faster than decomposition. If you can use a different factoring method, no problem. Use that instead. A trinomial can be represented with the form ax squared plus bx plus c. In this trinomial, a equals 3, b equals 7, and c equals negative 6. In step 1, determine the value of a times c. Three times negative six equals negative eighteen. In step two, find two numbers that have a product of a times c and a sum of b. Let's draw a chart that we can use to find the two numbers. The first column will hold the numbers we are testing. The second column will hold the product of these numbers. The third column will hold the sum of these two numbers and the fourth column will indicate success or failure. Remember, we are looking for two numbers with a product of negative 18 and a sum of positive 7. Let's try the numbers 2 and negative 9. The product is negative 18. The sum is negative 7. This doesn't work since we need a sum of positive 7. Now test negative 2 and 9. The product is negative 18. The sum is 7. This works since we have a product of negative 18 and a sum of 7. In step 3, we write the middle term using the numbers we just found, negative 2 and 9. This gives us 3x squared minus 2x plus 9x minus 6. The middle terms return 7x, so we haven't actually changed the trinomial. We've just written it in a more useful form. In step 4, factor the first two terms, factor the second two terms, then simplify. This gives us x times 3x minus 2, plus 3 times 3x minus 2. The binomial 3x minus 2 is common to each term. Factor it out to get 3x minus 2 times x plus 3. We have now factored the trinomial. Now we'll return to the original question. Solve 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals 0 algebraically. We can factor 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 using decomposition. For simplicity, we write the trinomial as 2a squared minus a minus 1, where a equals sine theta. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 2, the product of a times c, and add to negative 1, the b value. The two numbers are negative 2 and positive 1. Rewrite the middle term using the two numbers. 
This gives us 2a squared minus 2a plus a minus 1. Factor 2a out of the first two terms. There's nothing to factor from the second two terms, so just factor out 1. The factored form is a minus 1 times 2a plus 1. Now that we have factored, restore the a's to sine theta. This gives us sine theta minus 1 times 2 sine theta plus 1. Now we'll find the values of theta that satisfy the equation. Set each factor equal to 0. Isolate sine theta by adding 1 to each side of the equation. Bring up the unit circle. Sine theta equals 1 when theta equals pi over 2. Moving on to the next factor, subtract 1 from each side of the equation. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. This gives us sine theta equals negative 1 over 2. Sine theta equals negative 1 over 2 when theta equals 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. The solution over the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi is pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Let's see how this looks graphically. Graph the original function, y1 equals 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 in a calculator. The theta intercepts of the factors will give us back the roots of the original equation. Graph the first factor, y2 equals sine theta minus 1. This gives us back the root of pi over 2. Now graph the second factor, y3 equals 2 sine theta plus 1. This gives us back the roots of 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. In part b, solve cosecant squared theta minus 3 cosecant theta plus 2 equals 0 algebraically. We write the trinomial as a squared minus 3a plus 2 for simplicity, where a equals cosecant theta. Now factor a squared minus 3a plus 2. We need two numbers that multiply to 2, the product of a times c, and add to negative 3, the b value. The two numbers are negative 2 and negative 1. Rewrite the middle term using the two numbers. This gives us a squared minus 2a minus a plus 2. Factor a out of the first two terms. Factor negative 1 out of the second two terms. The factored form is a minus 2 times a minus 1. Now that we have factored, restore the a's to cosecant theta. This gives us cosecant theta minus 2 times cosecant theta minus 1. Now we'll solve the equation cosecant theta minus 2 times cosecant theta minus 1 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0.
Add 2 to each side of the equation to get cosecant theta equals 2. Take the reciprocal of each side to get sine theta equals 1 half. Bring up the unit circle. Sine theta equals 1 half when theta equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Moving on to the next factor, add 1 to each side to get cosecant theta equals 1. Take the reciprocal of each side to get sine theta equals 1. Sine theta equals 1 when theta equals pi over 2. The solution over the domain, where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, is pi over 6, pi over 2, and 5 pi over 6. Let's see how this looks graphically. Graph the original function, y1 equals cosecant squared theta, minus 3 cosecant theta, plus 2, in a calculator. Now graph the first factor, y2 equals cosecant theta minus 2. This gives us the roots pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And graph the second factor, y3 equals cosecant theta minus 1. This gives us the root pi over 2. In part c, Solve 2 sine cubed theta minus 5 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta equals 0 algebraically. We write 2 sine cubed theta minus 5 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta as 2a cubed minus 5a squared plus 2a where a equals sine theta. Now factor 2a cubed minus 5a squared plus 2a. Factor out a to get a times 2a squared minus 5a plus 2. We need two numbers that multiply to 4, the product of a times c, and add to negative 5, the b value. The two numbers are negative 4 and negative 1. Replace the middle term with the two numbers. This gives us a times 2a squared minus 4a minus a plus 2. Factor out 2a from the first two terms and negative 1 from the second two terms. This gives us a times a minus 2 times 2a minus 1. Replace a with sine theta. This gives us sine theta times sine theta minus 2 times 2 sine theta minus 1. Now we'll solve the equation. Set each factor equal to 0. Bring up the unit circle. Sine theta equals 0 when theta equals 0, pi, and 2 pi. Moving on to the next factor, add 2 to both sides to isolate sine theta. There is no solution. Moving on to the last factor, add 1 to both sides to isolate sine theta. Divide both sides by 2 to get sine theta equals 1 half. Sine 
sine theta equals 1 half, when theta equals pi over 6, and 5 pi over 6. The solution over the domain, where theta is between 0 and 2 pi, is 0, pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, pi, and 2 pi. Let's see how this looks graphically. Graph the original function, y1 equals 2 sine cubed theta minus 5 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta in a calculator. Now graph the first factor, y2 equals sine theta. This gives us the roots 0, pi, and 2 pi. Graph the second factor, y3 equals sine theta minus 2. And graph the third factor, y4 equals 2 sine theta minus 1. This gives us the roots pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6.